What's up, guys? We are back on the Tahoe. I'm here at Home Depot. I'm looking for uh, some chain material. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for here. Chain material so I could put this uh, around the, the cylinder tank for the welder. Or maybe something like this because I can just use some regular screws and stick it through. Um, so I'm about to change the drive shaft angle. I'm going to show you all what I had to do because it took me a lot of looking at lifted cars to know that that had to be done. It was not in the instructions, even though the instructions were pretty on point, but it didn't tell me how to do that. But I see that the drive shaft is not where I want it to be. So it has to be done. But um, I'm here for some ch uh, chain and 030 MIG welding wire. I literally walk right past MIG wire. 30. So I'm using the 35. Don't really like it. Let's see how many pounds. This is a two pound spool. So uh, I'm trying to round up all the two two pound spools that I can. That way I can buy these wires in bulk, re-roll them, and then just stick to the little ones because I have an 11 pound spool that I can't stick in the welder and just keeps getting tangled. So it's making me use a lot of product. The things I want to tackle first is I want to go from suspension i kind of don't want to jump around i want to tackle each group one at a time so first thing i want to do is jump on suspension so uh for those who watched the videos originally when i replaced the hood bearings we, we were in a rush and now it's not so much a rush so i'm gonna take the bolts that i put in the hood bearings out and then put these in the original hardware after finding some extension cords, I ran like two from the house and I got this one light plugged in. So the lighting is just too terrible. So I'm pulling this one bolt out. On the original hooks, all of this stuff was rusted. So I want to say new everything. So we put new everything, but I couldn't get the dust covers off because the bolts, these bolts, Rusted inside. Same boat, just different size heads. But like I said, I, I want to keep it original, especially for the owner. So make sure these thread in here pretty good. Yes, they do. I want to make a break bracket, break holes bracket. Didn't come with any. Um, this new silver bracket y'all see here is for the speed sensor. It came with the speed sensor. So, yeah. That's something I gotta fab up. Alright, so the rear end is pretty much prepped. I need to go get my big jack stands and I can jack this back up. I just let it down because I'm about to go in the house and I don't want nothing crazy to happen overnight. I let it all the way down and sitting on the jack. Um, I got the front tires chopped on that side. So I'm pretty much sure it ain't gonna go nowhere. But uh shocks are removed, the drive shaft I need to unbolt, and then um just the bolts that's holding the rear end to the leaf springs. Next day, very next day, because I've been recording the series, all of these videos. So I got uh, some mountain flamps from Home Depot. I'm not sure if they're gonna work. I was trying to reduce the fab time. See if we can fit this. Nope, gotta be drilled out. And then the next thing I want to see is if this hose was too big. Definitely will work once it's clamped down and tight. Won't move. Thanks to Tweet G Customs, I'm back able to do woodwork, fab work, uh, grinding, anything that calls dust, anything that calls just stuff to fly in the air and I have to breathe it in. Concrete work, sanding, all of that. I'm about to get the fabbing on this rear end. I was waiting on this to come and then I can do some body work for this console that I gotta knock out.
side is grinded completely. But as y'all can see, I gotta shape the mount. So I'm gonna shape the mount tomorrow. And then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, the other side, same thing. But I have to finish sanding, man. Look, these are the cutoff wheels I went through. I'm on another one. Uh, the, all the fab work is done. Ready to start welding. So, got the purchase on. Got the drive shaft angle that I was wanting. I'm done with the fabbing. I hate stopping the start, man, but my welds are getting very good. I had to stop, then I had to build it back up, and I hate when I had to do that. Probably can't even see that one. And I ain't trying to jump up on the. I really ain't. But uh, yeah, came out pretty high. Got the angle I want. Tighten it up, tighten up the uh, U-bolts for it. And then uh, putting these wheels and shocks back on. Um, I gotta take note of the E-brake. Contact the manufacturer for this uh, brake kit and see, see what they say on putting that on. But uh, yeah, I'm done. Putting the wheels back on now. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Not sure what the next video is gonna be, but uh, definitely stay tuned. We'll be back working on it tonight. Hold this little stuff. But uh, SCS, I'm out.